Right, tag time. Um, I think I'm going to use this, like I said previously, and I've just dyed some seam binding, a bit of peel paint, and I put a tiny bit of vintage photo in as well, so it made it look grungier. Okay, I've mounted one of the butterflies on a bit of that, just because I sort of think, or oh, do there, and then we have a ribbon wrapped around. The first thing I've got to do is cut this to size. So I need to trim that top off a little bit. I actually didn't mind that, but for this, I think I will trim. Yeah, sorry if you can hear the fan. Needs must, I'm afraid. It's not really straight there. I'm going to see if I can sort this out. I'm guessing here. I can't really see. better oh, ladies this is so old this one <laughs> it's a wonder it still cuts actually i don't even change the blade in it oh. okay and i know we've got to trim off a bit at the bottom but that's okay but yep that's gonna sit there better mm, i shall line this up so that's sort of squarish And you can go on that line, which is handy. You have to lean forward a little bit though. There. I know the bottom's not right, but that I can trim off all together. No, I'm going to do it now. I'm wrapping some ribbon around so Oops. right gonna have to lean forward so I can see my lines Uh, this will be not a, a cut tag, if you know what I mean. That will be sort of like a, more like a journaling card. And it's going to sort of be there. But the first thing I want to do... Is put some of this around. Yep. I'll put a sticky tape on the back. Let's cut this one down. I don't know where my thinner, thinner one went. Me water bottle because it's gone in the bin. <laughs> Might get chucked out. That's a bit of double sided tape or score tape, as you say in the US. But I think score tape is a make, isn't it? Right.
it's still too thin so I will be back in this this one I'm not worried about that being on the back one of them will be all right let's feel mm, still not thick enough that's nice and that's a lot thicker lot, lots more stable I'm going to um, stitch mine so I'm not worried about this but if you were, weren't then that needs gluing down properly. Which I'm going to go and do now. So that's all stitched around okay um i think what i'm gonna do with this is actually which i wish i'd done before i stitched the back on but never mind is i sort of want it quite tight and not in a bow so something like that if you know what i mean um yeah because i'm gonna have the butterfly up here i'm gonna have some bits and maybe a mushroom there so half I'll just put that there for now and then what I'll do I'll put just some thin lined paper over the back so it's that nice and tight out of focus there, not out of focus but out of frame just come down a bit okay I won't do that yet until I've finished just in case I want to stitch anything right so like that I still lift something underneath there. I put this on. I have that back there, I think. I stitch the butterfly onto this. Right. Okay, now I've got this very strange stuff. Um, I, what was it? What's this? I have no idea where it come from. It's the most strangest thing if you get it wet. So I thought, oh, I'll dye it and it goes all like slimy and, and thin and really weird. Right. But once you dye it and then dry it with the heat, with the heat tool, it goes all stiff and it's great. So I thought I'd have a bit of that in here. Underneath there, if you know what I mean. sort of like that which what I'll do to glue this down is it's like I use little dots like that sort of thing okay and then just press that down and the same here just won't show up on that embossing anyway so okay just cut that off it's really rigid now but when it's wet it's slimy it must be something on it but that's there. Right, and I quite like this because that's sort of mushroomy. <laughs> and that's that florist stuff. Yeah. I'm just wondering if it'll just stain up a little bit. <laughs> Never done this before, so. Not 
all of it, just a bit. I think that's worked. Yeah, and I'm gonna again put some glue here. And squish that in. Might be a bit too much there. It's got a mind of its own, so. stuck to me and then I have I'm just wondering whether they will go under there they will I think they look nice under there just little wooden mushrooms I'm going to leave that because I really like that. I was going to say you could put some words there if you wanted, but I I actually quite like it the way it is. No, I'm leaving it. <laughs> yeah. I could put a um, grommet in the top there. It doesn't have to be shag. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> right, we could put a grommet in the top. And I'm going to cover that inside there with a bit of lined paper. Just curling up a bit there, so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there. Okay, might use that bit of paper up and some of the gel prints. Okay, and here's a back. Just like that. Okay, on with the next one. Um, I did put them somewhere. Yes. And I've got, this is from last year, I think um, there's all sorts of flowers, all sort of nature type stuff in here because that was what I used for the fern kit and also the collage, autumn collage papers. So, well, they weren't called that. I think they were some kind of collage papers, but they were very autumn, had an autumn feel. I won't use a die cut for a minute. Because I want to do that one first. So I really like that. Cut that off, but that's all right because we can stick it down. I want that to fit in there.
You know what? I'm going to put that through an embossing plate. Okay, and emboss that. So it'll look even better on there. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I've embossed that. So I'm going to put a little bit of gilding wax on. This, is, this one is from Pebio and it is Renaissance Gold, which is sort of bronze actually, I think. But use what you've got. And I'm just going to sort of lightly go over that area there. little bit more towards the edges and spend a little bit of time just a little bit weak there even if that breaks it doesn't matter because you can glue it on when it comes to putting it on okay right this is going to go on a bit of vellum and then I'll cut around the vellum. Why well, not? It's tracing paper, cheap old tracing paper from the kids section. I get mine from the range at the kids section normally or anywhere. It's cheap. Always make sure you go around the edges or else they lift. And like these little bits, I say lift up. Put that together correctly so it looks nice and then you can cut that out okay let's ink up the edges of this one On there because I'm going to wrap rope around it right I'll just give you a little point have you got this thick rope which I've got which is uh, too thick really I think it's nice for tying up journals but it's too thick for things like this I usually get quite a good length I'll just show you so a lot of people will know this anyway but just sort of for people that don't it's usually done with about three strands now if you twist it the other way you can usually separate the strands like that and if you get one of them and you pull that down you get it comes a bit tight there just pull that down to the end there saying that might not work today but I just it's all right I'm unraveling that bit as well there we go on the end there okay now oh, you can pull this strand away but that didn't come out very good for some reason the other one I'll just show you it's brilliant just right and these good for like little bows and things like that now we've got a thinner piece okay these little bits are no good well you could actually knot them I sometimes actually not quite enough sorry I'm mumbling I'm gonna just put all those together okay make a knot up those bits and that for autumn or yeah I think it's a little embellishment I do keep those. Right, yeah, the, the, the one I've done before, look, worked out brilliantly. <laughs> yeah, there's three of them somewhere. Yeah, so that's what I've done. So, all the bits that don't work, just put them all together and knot them, and you've got a little embellishment. But these are all great. I'm just thinking if you haven't got, if you've got string and you haven't got jute, that's another way I get my jute string. Okay. 
I'll just put that away for a minute because I'm going to use one of these. Right, let's stick that down. It was a bit of a fail that one, wasn't it? <laughs> Right, I'm going to put a ticket on the, on, under there, okay, and I thought that was one of my tickets and that I died earlier, or inked up with something, and that fits brilliantly. So that is going to go under there, and I'll do it right to the edge, because what I can do is re put the grommet in there. Okay, and put a dangle from there. Yeah. Just make sure that's fairly straight. And this I'm going to wrap around a few times. I've done this previously on other tags and stuff. I'll just make sure I leave a bit there. And one, two, let's see if we can get three. Yeah, okay. Okay, just wanted to make sure it went round three times. Now I can stick it down. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to knot mine. And then you can either you build up something from here. That's a little bit too big, actually. Actually, that might be too big too. Just looking at that. Butterfly new. Right, I haven't got much out actually, <laughs> to be honest. Ooh. Oh, that would look good. Isn't it? Bit big day. That's an embossed. That's out of a book page. I think I'd done them. Oh gosh, ages ago. Just um, cut out book pages and then emboss them. I don't really want to cover that up because it's too nice. It's a little bit big. But I might use that on something else. So I really like that. Um. Maybe some more flowers. And we've got some little bits. Let's have a look.
And I think that looks all right. Okay, right, we need that whole thing to go on another tag or something like that, definitely, to make it a little bit bigger. But that is looking right. Here we go, just in a file folder. Okay, that's going to sit on there then, and I'll have a bit of string coming out of here. Or something coming out of there. I think that looks all right. Let's ink up around here. Yeah, I think I had a bit that I cut off from. Yeah, I did. Cleared my nozzle there. Um, I just thought I'd put the, the greenish dangle here. That might be too low. I'm hoping I can just get this, slip this one on because I, d I want it to be sort of about there, but the green side showing. I've got one side purple and orange and one side green. I think they're lovely. I got those. I, that's, uh, I thought I'd use my last one, but that is my last one now. So I'm going to open this up. Where are you? There. And I'll just slip that on that thread. So look. I might do the underneath one. Um, I'll pick up two if I can. So. Yeah. that one and then I did put a dangle on that one as well because I had one that sort of went so put that one there that's those two and on with some more all right I'll just put that in there put these away and I have a quick look through the other ones 
Okay, because that's on just thin paper. That one's almost, you know, that's pretty good. So I thought I would make a pocket going across that way, out of that bit. Yeah. What I'm going to do is actually tear down here, though. So let's just do that. Tear that and cut the edges first. go up like that yeah like that so I'll turn it over and cut that out you can little, leave a little bit if you want just in case Some bits of thread <laughs> tangled up with a little die cut there. I think that one is as easy as that myself. What I'm going to do is just going to run a stitch along that. Okay. Okay, that's all I've done. I just hold it together while we can place it. So I will glue the back of that. So you got to Make sure that's down there. Okay. And I will be stitching around this one. So if that goes there. Then I'll put a little bit of glue again. Dub, 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 dub. All around there. And I'll just hold that in place. A little bit more there. and the mushroom i think i'm going to come down here and then if i want a word i can put that there that was a nice quick easy one wasn't it i do love mushrooms over autumn journals and that they're just a good shape they really are i'm going to put that there just wanted to move that a little bit behind it. Okay, All right, I'll stitch around that. And then we can make a little tag to go in there out of what we've got. Okay, that's all stitched around. Um, I'm going to do something with this up here because I thought that would look nice poking out the top. Of that one on my sewing machine was playing up a bit so to make it look like i'm supposed to have done that i went 
went round a couple of times. <laughs> no, you would know. Right, but I'm going to have a little bit of this, I think, on the, the background. This is just potting soil. Yeah, I might need to go a bit darker, I think. Oh, I don't know. Might be all right. Let's have a look. Because I'm not um, getting it wet or anything. Yeah, it just didn't show up enough. I like this one. It's a little bit smaller. So. First. It's just a bit of a paper bag. It's good for contrast. One of the Tim Holtz labels. It's nice and dinky, so. And it's here. I think I've used all mine and traces up, actually, with all the tag challenge and that. So I got some Tim Holtz ones. I'm just wondering. I'll put a bit of that. Okay, now with this sort of thing, because it's not sticking down very well, I tend to use heavy structure gel. It's really thick. I can't actually pour it out. You have to dip your brush in like that. This will dry clear. Okay. Right, what I want to do now is actually squash it right down. So I put something heavy on it. like um, a block actually this will be all right top of that okay now I'm going to just give it a squish it might come up but a lot of it will stay okay it looks like you've collected a bit of dirt as well <laughs> we're going for a realistic <laughs> dry that off okay okay strange old stuff but it can look quite good <laughs> not totally dry yet okay I'll get up for there 
Yeah, I'm working in my six inches now. <laughs> As you do. Made a mess today, that's for sure. Right, okay. Um, what was we going to do here? Right, finish that one off. So, yeah, it will go in there, but it's still a bit damp. So I'm going to put a bit of this on a grommet over here, I think. So we need, that's a bit big, that one. I need a little ticket, really. Here we go. Right. That's a three. And gosh, there's loads to do, loads of different ones, but I'm gonna do some more with these. Alright, but this will do for the video today. Um shall I put a grommet up there as well? I, I might attach just something with these up there. Like a bit of string or something. I'm not sure. I might do a bit more of that actually. Um, maybe a bit of string as well. Need to, of course, do the back on that one. Like so. And then we have to cover that over, don't we? Let's find where to put them back. I might do there. A bit of string. And I had that little thing. Remember?
and that covers all that staples up. Okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Flying tags. Okay. Yeah, but when I get um, to the end of video in, I do get a bit tired, I will say. But, there we go. Back in that. Um, very all to me. There's the one. Oh, horrible fly. Is it a wasp? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a bee. Oh, not again. Oh, God, they dive on me. Right, excuse me. <laughs> I just saved the bee because <laughs> it was in a cobweb and so I've got a big brush. I've got hold of the cobweb <laughs> and the bee and put it outside. <laughs> oh, I must get rid of these cobwebs. <laughs> anyway, all right, where was I? There we go. Got one. That one there, that was all the jelly prints I'd done. And that one there. Okay. And that's three done. Another 120 to go. <laughs> no, that's all I'm doing today anyway. And um, I'll speak to you soon. I will get on with some more and then, you know, I sort of do them every now and again because I've got other things to get on with as well now. So, um, something else in the pipeline. And so, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.